Hello, Croxford Academy. Today we are reading a very scary jack-o'-lantern. How do you carve a scary jack-o'-lantern? Elliot asked Grandpa Bud. <laughs> you must get a pumpkin from the yellow-eyed, snaggletoothed witch, Grandpa Bud answered. From the yellow-eyed, snaggletoothed witch, Elliot gasped. How do you do that? Well, said Grandpa Bud. On a moonlit night, when the air is crisp, a black cat will stroll out of town. Follow it. A cat steps into a cornfield and disappears. Dry leaves rustle softly in the wind, and then, clat a tat tat a skeleton dances by. Follow it. A skeleton stops at the edge of a pond. It dives, but you hear no splash. It is gone. Three pale ghosts rise out of the mist. They swirl, they sigh, they hum. Follow their song. As they glide through the woods, the ghosts melt away. An owl hoots. Bats swoop down. One of them seems to lead the way. Follow it. In a clearing in the woods stands a tiny hut. Walk right in. There's no need to knock. Inside the hut, you are not alone. A long-legged spider spins down from the ceiling. A huge steaming cauldron stands on the hearth. And then she appears. From where? Who knows? Eyes closed, arms outstretched. She holds a large orange pumpkin. <laughs> now watch carefully. As she opens her eyes, do they shine yellow? As she starts to cackle, does her snaggle tooth show? If so, take the pumpkin and run! Outside the hut, the black cat returns to show you the way home. Follow it! Go! Run through the woods, past the pond, and across the cornfield. until you and the pumpkin are safe. And then, <laughs> Grandpa Bud says with a wink, you'll be scared enough to carve a very scary jack-o'-lantern just like this. <laughs> Happy Halloween.